Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at a pretty solid tech bag from a company called TomTuck. And this is a 24 liter bag with some really solid organizational options. And I hadn't heard of this company before, but I've been using this for the past couple of weeks. And so far, it's been a pretty great experience. The bag has been very comfortable to wear. It feels pretty solidly built. As I mentioned, it has some great pocketing and it comes in at a pretty reasonable price. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. And I want to thank the company for sending the bag for me to test out. And let's just jump in and take a closer look. Starting out with the outside of the bag, I like the overall aesthetic. It does have a pretty standard tech type look that we've seen in a lot of other bags in the past, but that works pretty well for this bag here. It definitely feels like it's gonna fit in in a bunch of different environments, whether you need to take this to work or campus or for walking around the city. And the nice thing about having a look that doesn't stand out as much is it does kind of help you blend in, especially when you're abroad. It doesn't make it feel like you're carrying a bunch of expensive stuff. As far as the materials, the bag is made out of a durable feeling nylon that seems to offer a nice amount of weather resistance. On top of that, the bag has nice YKK zippers all around, and that was really impressive for me to see for the price point that this comes in at that they would include those type of zippers and this solid nylon. Jumping into the capacity, the bag comes in at about 24 liters, which is a really great daily bag size. I was able to easily fit everything that I normally like to carry with me. And I really like that even though it has a larger size, the bag doesn't stick out awkwardly. It maintains a pretty slim silhouette, making it very easy to walk around crowded cities or to jump onto public transit, such as a bus or a train. And then a nice thing about this bag is that if you like the style, but you need a little bit more capacity or you wanna use this for a quick weekend trip, they do actually offer it in a larger 30 liter size. And then continuing along the outside, I was happy to see that they do have an external water bottle compartment. Currently what I have in here is the same bottle that you've seen in all my other daily bag videos, and that fit in there really easily. The compartment offers a nice amount of capacity and it does have some elasticity. You can see it has a little band here that allows it to come out. So if you have a thicker bottle, it should be able to fit in there okay. And then at the top, the bag has a really nice top handle that has a nice seatbelt like material. It's pretty comfortable to hold and it feels very sturdy. It reminds me a lot of the handles that we see on Airs bags. So really nice to have this for when you're picking your bag off the ground or when you're holding it in your hand while you're walking through airport security. Moving into the straps and the back paneling, this is an area of the bag that I was very impressed with. It's been really comfortable to wear. I like how the straps have been implemented here. They have a nice amount of padding. They're nice and thick, but they're still soft and comfortable right out of the box. On the inside, they have a nice meshy material, and they also have a good width for this size of the bag to prevent them from digging into your shoulders. One thing to note about the straps is that there is no sternum strap included, and it doesn't look like you have the ability to add one, but so far that hasn't been a huge issue for me because of the size of the bag. Moving on to the back paneling, this has also been pretty comfortable to have some solid foam here and a nice amount of elevation to create these air channels to help air flow as you're walking around throughout the day. So this does help prevent your back from getting as moist. One thing that I did note here is that I would have preferred to have seen the same meshy material that we saw on the straps. Even though there is a nice amount of airflow, this material does tend to get moist a little bit quicker than this sort of meshy material. So it would have been nice to have seen that included. And also this material is a little bit harder than the padding that we see on the strap. So this might be more of a personal choice. I would have preferred to have seen some sort of foam like this on the back as opposed to this more solid foamy material that we see here. So still works really well. The bag has been comfortable, but personally for me, I would have just liked to have seen this softer material. One thing that I was sad that they didn't include on the back paneling was a luggage pass-through as this would be the perfect bag to kind of pair with a carry-on bag, especially when you're traveling for work, to be able to rest it on the suitcase while you're walking around. That definitely would have been a nice touch. And then the last thing I'll mention while we're here kind of on the back panel area is that there is this little secret compartment that lays against your back that you can use to store more sensitive items. And so this has a zipper that has this anti-theft guard here to make it a little bit harder for pickpockets to get into. And so pulling that down, nice amount of space here. Currently what I have is just my Field Notes notebook to show off the size, but plenty of space here for your passport or for a thinner wallet, anything that's a little bit more sensitive that you wanna keep protected while you're walking around throughout the day. Jumping into the organizational options, there's a lot of great pockets all throughout the bag and they're laid out in a really nice way that makes them very easy to use. And so starting with this one on the side, just a very simple quick access area that you can use to store something larger. In this case, I have my Blue Pop portable Bluetooth speaker and power bank, but this would have been a great spot maybe for a laptop charger. And there's also a pass through here for a cable that you can run into the inside. If you have a portable battery, you can place your phone in here and charge it while you're on the go. I like that you can actually close this up so that if you do place your phone there to charge, it's a little bit more protected. 
So no sort of internal organization, just a nice amount of space. As you can see, I can fit almost my whole hand in here. So just a really great spot to be able to get to larger accessories quickly. The next pocket we're gonna take a look at is this top quick access area, which has a nice wide opening zipper. So you can easily get into the compartment. Plenty of space here for anything that you need to grab quickly. So jumping in, the first thing I have here is my Ray-Ban sunglasses with their case. And then a few simple slip pockets on the inside. On this one on the right, I have my Apple Magic Mouse. And then there's a few slots to hold something like a pen or a stylus, which is what I currently have here. And then I also have a simple nail clipper. And then all the way here on the left, there is a slightly slimmer slip pocket, which is still large enough to hold something like my USB-C dock for my Touch Bar MacBook Pro. And even if you choose not to use the slip pockets, I love how much volume this compartment has, so it's gonna be great for larger accessories. And if you're traveling and you wanna throw in something like your toiletries or your dock kit, this is gonna be a great spot to do so. Next up on the bottom, there is just a smaller quick access compartment here on the front. I like how this has a little flap that kind of comes over the zipper to provide some additional protection. So if you have some electronics, this might be a good spot to place them. And so currently what I have in here is just a lightning cable to charge my phone and my iPad. And then I also have my AirPods here when I don't want to carry them in my pocket. Besides that, no sort of internal organization or fleece lining in this compartment, just a nice amount of space and a very simple layout. Behind that compartment, there is another larger area that has a little bit more space and some internal organization. So again, just pockets, pockets, pockets everywhere on this bag. And so plenty of space in this one. Again, like the one on the top, I like how much volume this offers, which is really great for larger accessories. And so jumping into what I currently have here, I just have my GoPro. And then I also have a simple USB mouse that I carry as a backup. And then in this compartment, there's a larger slip pocket that might be good for something like a notebook or a portable hard drive. Plenty of space here. I didn't actually place anything in this one just because there's so many spaces throughout the rest of the bag that I kind of ran out of items. And then in the other one here, there is a smaller slip pocket that also has a lanyard with a clip that you can use to attach to your keys. In this case, what I have is my Gerber Dime Multi-Tool. And then for the clip, I really like that it's metallic and it's very easy to use. So just a really nice implementation here. And then if you have your keys or the multi-tool, you can kind of just tuck it into the slip pocket or you can use it for another smaller accessory. So just another great quick access area with a nice amount of internal organization and plenty of space. The last area we're gonna take a look at is the main compartment, which also has the tablet and laptop sleeves. So opening this up, one thing I wanted to note that I forgot to mention earlier about the zippers is that even though they're nice YKK zippers, the teeth are a little bit more exposed than I would normally like to see. So it would have been nice to have some covering, especially here for the laptop area. So far, I haven't noticed any issues with the lighter rain that I've experienced, but it is something to keep an eye out for if you do think you're gonna get caught in some heavier rain. So opening the compartment up here, nice wide opening so that you can kind of get a feel for everything that's in the main area. I really like how much space this offers, even for some bulkier items, it's still gonna be able to handle them pretty well. So if you need to take a lunch box or maybe a pair of gym clothes and some shoes, you should be able to squeeze in here. And so jumping into the items that I currently have, first up, I just have my GoRuff wired up, which is where I typically have most of my dongles and cables. Next up, I have my Beach Studio wireless headphones. And then I also have my Able Carry stash pouch, which has, has some additional smaller accessories and sometimes I use as a toiletry bag when I'm traveling a little bit lighter. After that, I have a full-size moleskin notebook and then a simple folder to hold my papers and receipts. And then the last thing here is my Levitate portable standing desk. Now with the compartment empty, you can get a better feel for the capacity. I like how much this comes up, which is what makes it good for holding some of those bulkier accessories. The last thing here in this main area is there's an elastic sleeve at the bottom that's gonna be a good spot to put something like an umbrella or a charger if you wanna connect it to this compartment on the outside. On the flap, there is a mesh zippered compartment that you can use for holding some of those smaller accessories that you don't want slipping to the bottom of this main area. So opening this up, what I have in here is just my Samsung T5 portable hard drive with its cable but plenty of leftover space there. And I like that the mesh makes it very easy to see what's inside the compartment. And then if you don't want to use that, it just kind of stays flat and out of the way. And I was really impressed with just how much I was able to fit into this 24 liter capacity. So of course I was curious if I would be able to travel with this. So I filled up my Arquito double-sided and compressible packing cube and just throwing that into the main area for you to get a feel. It does fit in here comfortably. It doesn't leave a lot of room for other stuff. So I could probably place a pair of Toms or a toiletry bag here and definitely be able to use this for a shorter trip. 
And then the last area we're gonna be taking a look at is the tablet and laptop sleeves. And so they're both held down by this nice Velcro strap here that allows you to make sure everything stays in place. You can actually adjust this depending on the height of your devices. So opening this up, first up, the tablet sleeve has a nice amount of padding and plenty of space. This is meant to hold up to an 11 inch tablet. Currently what I have in here is just my iPad mini 2, so plenty of leftover space there. And I like that the tablet sleeve is elevated off the bottom of the ground, so it is gonna be protected if you do happen to drop your bag. No sort of fleece lining on the inside to help prevent against scratching, but I do like that this is a slightly padded sleeve, so it does have that extra bit of protection. So just a really nice implementation here. And then moving into the laptop sleeve, this is meant to hold up to a 15 inch laptop. So currently what I have in here is my 13 inch MacBook Pro, and you can see about how much leftover space there is here at the top. So nice amount of padding here on the back. On the front, the sleeve is a little bit padded. It's not quite as padded as, as I would have liked to have seen. I almost feel like the tablet sleeve has a little bit more padding than this sleeve, but for the most part, it's still pretty well protected. And the nice thing here is that it is elevated off the bottom of the ground. And so nice amount of space here. You can see that the sleeve comes up a decent amount. If you have a thicker device, it should be able to fit in there okay. And so pulling the laptop out, one thing that I notice is that because this lip extends out over the laptop area, it can be a little bit tricky to get your laptop out, especially if you have a larger laptop. I could see this becoming a little bit annoying. So for me, it's not too bad, but just something to keep in mind. You have to kind of push this down so that it doesn't get caught. And so now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. No sort of felt lining here to help prevent against scratching, but still a nice amount of padding. And just the fact that it's elevated definitely makes me feel like it's gonna keep my laptop protected. So just a really great job overall in this main area and throughout the rest of the bag with the organizational options and space provided. And if you're looking for a durable and versatile bag that's gonna come in at under $100, this is gonna be a great option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a really great experience testing out the TomTalk Tech Bag over the past couple of weeks. The bag has been really comfortable to wear, it has a solid build quality, some great organizational options, and it comes in at a pretty good price. And so you can purchase this bag on Amazon for about $60 for the 24 liter version that we looked at in this video. They also have a larger 30 liter version available for $70. And I think these are pretty reasonable prices considering the features and build quality that the bag has to offer. I also think it compares pretty well to other tech bags in this price range, but there are a lot of great options that you may wanna check out. And so as I was testing this out, one of the first bags that came to mind was the OnePlus Travel Backpack, which also comes in at around $70 to $80. And that had a really nice build quality, lots of space, a really cool design, and it was just very comfortable to wear. I don't think that bag has the same weather resistance as this bag here, and this one also has the benefit of having nice YKK zippers. But if you're looking for something with a little bit more of a simple layout and a more unique look that's gonna hold up well, the OnePlus Travel Backpack will be a good option to keep in mind. Another bag this made me think of was the Herschel Pop Quiz, which is just a really popular daily bag for school and work. It's not quite as much of a tech bag as this one here, and it doesn't have the same organizational options, but that one has a really nice classic look, a solid laptop compartment, and it's gonna come in at a similar price range. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit less techy, that's gonna be a great option to keep in mind. Another bag this made me think of was the Inatech Business Laptop Backpack, which we've talked about a few times on the channel. That's been one of the best kind of budget option bags that we featured. It has a really solid build quality. It's very comfortable. It has a lot of solid organizational options as well. And if you're looking to save just a little bit of money or you just want something with a slightly different look, I definitely recommend you check that one out as well. If you have a little bit of a higher budget, the next bag that I would recommend taking a look at would be the Air Day Pack, which is a really stylish and versatile work and daily bag. It has a very stylish look, a really solid build quality, some great weather resistance, and it also has a lot of nice organizational options. That one's gonna come in at closer to $120, and it's not gonna be able to hold quite as much as this one, but if you want something a little bit more simple and stylish that's gonna hold up well over the longer term, the Air Day Pack is gonna be another great option to check out. And then the last option that I'll mention here is the Timbuktu Vert Pack, which we looked at pretty recently. That was a really solid bag that had a lot of great pockets, a nice amount of capacity, a really solid build quality, and it also had the added ability to be able to attach a skateboard or a yoga mat with some straps on the front. It is gonna come in at around $120, $130, but if you're looking for something with a little bit better build quality and some additional organizational options, the Timbuktu Vert Pack is gonna be a great option to take a look at as well. 
With that being said, the 24 liter TomTok tech bag holds up really well against all those bags and it's actually surprised me how much I enjoyed using it considering it's a company I hadn't really heard of before. And if you're looking for a solid bag with some great organizational options that's gonna be comfortable to wear and come in at under $100, this is gonna be a great option to keep in mind. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think about the bag and the company. And if you've used any of their products in the past, I'd be curious to hear your experience. And if there are any other bags from them that you'd like me to feature on the channel in the future, please let me know in the comments below. And I want to thank the company again for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you guys found this video useful, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.